matrix for source code. Now the programmer and software team, they are more interested in the software code. Now Helstein, he gave a theory of software science and he was the first to propose the analytical laws for the computer hardware, uh, sorry, software. So the Helstein, he assigned certain quantitative laws to the development of computer software. From A to Z, he said we can compute it and we can do it using just the primitive measures. Only the code that is even if the code is generated or even the design has been completed, we can compute so many things, almost everything using this, this uh, Helstead theory. And the basic measure which is or the basis of Helstead theory or source code matrix is how many number of operator and operands are there. I am just writing a very naive code, easy code and I am just trying to point out what are the operator and what are the operands. Please remember opera operators are all those symbols which are provided by the programming language and operands are all those which a user has used, he has given, he has defined, he has declared. So if is an operator, braces operator, round bracket operator, angle bracket operator, double quotes operator. Okay. What are the operands? X operand, 5 operand. These are given by S. So we will just count them. This will be N1. Number of operator, number of operands, N2, capital N1, capital N2. Now just write them and remove the duplicates. Just count. If you or you have multiple multiplicity, just count one. And that will that will come from N1 only. So N1 will reduce, get reduced to small N1. Because we are we have just reduced the multiplicity. Count the operator, remove the duplicity or multiplicity, you will get N2 number of distinct operands that appear in a program. So Helstead use these, uh, you know, these parameters to develop, develop expressions for the overall program length, potential minimum volume for an algorithm, the actual volume in terms of bits, the program level that is the complexity, the language level which is constant for like COBOL or C or C++ or C sharp. Then development effort, how much effort will be required, what will be the development time and the projected number of faults, problems in the errors. So he gave these all, you know, expressions. So this is the basis. I told you this has come from simple code or the algorithm. So he said the length of the code will be n1 log n1 plus n2 log N2, these are all small logs, basis 2. Program volume will be capital N, capital N we have found out, and then log N1 plus N2. This is log base 2. And V, capital V, which is the volume, will vary with the programming language. And this will represent the volume of information in bits. So, minimum volume should be there for a particular algorithm. He also said volume ratio, which is actually the uh, one inversion of your difficulty. So this is the ratio of volume of most compact form of program to the volume of the actual program. So if you have a very good program and the actual program that is the compact program divided by the uh, actual program, this is the volume ratio. L, this is volume ratio has to be uh, less than 1. This is the volume ratio 2 by small n1 into small n2 by capital N2 and you just invert it just do one by L, you will get the difficulty. So this difficulty and volume, when, when you multiply, you will get the effort. Effort will be V into D. So this is how various parameters. Also, I've, I tried to show you on the right hand, right side bottom. There are various ways you can use expression to find out. We'll take the example also. We are taking an example of Helstead's matrix. Various things we can estimate or find out using health state matrix. So we have taken an example, very small code, 
So we have to find out the operators and operands. Everything, every formula is dependent on these values only. Small n1, small n2, capital N1, capital N2. So first of all, what are the operators? Operators are all those symbols or notation which are provided by the programming language. Those which we are giving are called operands. Okay. So we will make a list of operators and then operands. First of all, let us start with the operators. If is the operator, round bracket, then angle bracket, then round bracket close, curly brace, if, round bracket again, angle bracket, then round bracket, close, is equal to, then star, that is the multiplication, and semicolon, and the braces. Okay. Now you have to count it. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is the 13. These are the total number of operators and that is the capital N1. Okay. Capital N1 is the total number of operators. Let us go to the operators. Uh, operands. Operands are those which are given by us. So K. Then 2. Then K. Repeat it. Don't worry about repeating. Then we have 3, then these are constant and variable basically. x, then again x, and then we have k. So these are the number of operands. How many are these? Just counted, they will be 7. So number of operands are 7. n2 is 7, capital N2 is 7. Now the question will be, what is small n1 and small n2? These are distinct, distinct operators and operands. So now just you have to remove the duplicacy or multiplicity. The so small n, n1 will come from this first column. First column we have used. So if is already there. So one I have crossed and other I have just removed. Because it is repeating. Round bracket also repeating. Angle bracket is not repeating. And then we have a round bracket. This also is repeating. So I am removing one of them. Curly brace. No, all these are distinct, unique. Now I just have to just mark it with a line and just calculate how many lines are there. Okay. We have just removed three of them. Three are the duplicates. So just cross it and just count how many lines are there. These are 10. So 10 is the distinct operators. I have just removed the duplicacy. The same thing we have to do for the operands. Now this K is repeating. This is also repeating. 3x is repeating. Okay. So k repeating. So 1, 2, 3, 4. How many are there? Small n2 is 4. Okay. Now these values will be put and all the formula they have these content only. These notations only. Calculation I have already done. So I will tell you what is the logic here. The first thing we will find is the length. Length is capital N. Length is denoted here by capital N which is equal to capital N1 plus capital N2. So what are the values? We know already 13 and 7. So you just see here N1 plus N2 13 plus 7 is 20. Now coming to vocabulary. Vocabulary is small n. Vocabulary is small n and this will be computed by small N1 plus small N2. This will be small n1 plus small n2. So small n1 is 10, small n2 is 4. 10 plus 4 is 40. So this is the computation of vocabulary. Then the estimated length. This is represented by n cap. Estimated length n cap. So this will take some time. n cap will be small n1 log base 2 small n1. So n1 log base 2 n1 plus n2 log again base 2 n2 okay now only thing of concern here is let me show you the computation so n1 you know it is 10 n2 you know it is 4 but log is base is 2 so we have to convert this log base 2 to log 10 so log base 2 uh, most of the you know scientific calculator you won't be able to calculate 
For that you have to change the log to base 10. For that just change the base 10 and just divide it by 0 0.3010. So log 10, say, see the base I have changed and just divided by 0 0.3010. And log 10, 10 is 1 and log base 10 of 4 is 0 0.6020. Computed it will be 41.222. Next thing will be purity ratio. Purity ratio will be this n cap which we have just calculated estimated length divided by capital N. N cap was 41.222 and what is the capital N? Capital N is 20. So this is the computation. Purity ratio is it will be 2.0611. Next thing is program volume or it is volume. So volume will be capital N log basis 2 and then we have N1 plus N2. These are small N1 and N2. So 20 is capital N, log is base 2, N1 plus N2 we have already computed it is 14. So as I am saying that you have to change the log base 2 to log base 10, just divide it by 0 0.3010, 76.154 will come. Now volume is there, not difficulty. The difficulty will be small n1, small n1 by 2 into capital N2 by small n2, capital N2 by small n2, okay. Now you see here, n1 is 10, capital N2 is 7, small n2 is 4, so it will be 8.75. Now let me tell you one more thing, here is one more thing which is called volume, volume ratio VL, volume ratio, this is 1 divided by difficulty, just divide difficulty by 1 and it will, you will get the answer. Effort is simply volume into this difficulty. So 8.75 is the difficulty. Volume we already know 76.154. The answer will be 666.3475. So this is how we calculate the health state matrix. These are all the basic thing is number of operators and operands and discrete operator operand, operands you have to find out.